and I am speaking to you today from a pew that once belonged to Judge Matthew Talbot. Matthew Talbot was County Judge of Matagorda County in the 1840s, and he didn't just come to church here and didn't just contribute to the annual budget by buying his pew. He also brought people to church, people who were his property. Among those were John and Joseph, two brothers, who were baptized and took their master's surname, becoming John and Joseph Talbot, after whom we have, in the Diocese of Texas, dedicated a fund to give grants toward racial reconciliation. One of the first steps of racial reconciliation is awareness. And we who are its heirs, who are the beneficiaries of that labor, and the wealth that was generated by enslaved labor, owe it not only to ourselves and our descendants, to the memory of those who've gone before, but also to our integrity in Christ. We applied for the Talbot Grant uh, in early 2021, uh, mainly because we were inspired by um, the work that Bishop Doyle is doing towards racial reconciliation and leveraging diocesan grants to support that work. And also because we saw an opportunity, uh, members of our vestry and members who had attended diocesan council uh, were immediately interested in helping create a historical marker to honor black achievement and diverse achievement to the space program because that's across the street from us uh, but we have an opportunity to inspire young people to remind our community and to celebrate the achievements of people who have literally been in our parish uh, we're currently working with an artist to finalize a scope and sequence to create this art installation that we think will be compelling and inspiring to our parish and our community and visitors. Um, I encourage people to apply for the Talbot Fund so that we can all take part in, in what the bishop has identified as holy work, uh, repairing the breach, uh, creating the beloved community. And we applied to the Talbot Fund in support of a community coalition called the 1919 Remembrance Project. It's a group that's collecting an oral history and producing a film documentary about the racial violence in Longview in 1919, part of a wave of such violence across our country that year. The vestry listened to one another, what was on our hearts, what was on our mind, everyone spoke their mind. And one senior member of the vestry got up and said that while he might disagree with the content of the project, he did agree with their right to make their film and that he hoped to watch it and learn from it. And so we reached a new consensus and eventually a unanimous vote endorsing the project and committing ourselves to an intentional process of formation and repentance and eventually action, working for racial justice and reconciliation in our community.